In this example problem, we're going to design a circular column for a given load. Typically, our first step would be to figure out uh, the demand uh, using the given loading. But here we're given the dead load and live load components of our axial and our axial load and our moment. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll combine these to find our uh, factored axial load, P uh, sub U, equal to 1.2 times 300 kips plus 1.6 times 200 kips, which will give us an axial load of 680 kips, and an m sub u equal to 1.2 times 300 kip feet plus 1.6 times 100 kip feet is going to give us 520 kip feet times 12 to give us kip inches, uh, 6,240 kip inches. So we'll want to design our column so that phi pn and phi mn are greater than uh, pu and mu, respectively. We're going to start by trying a 30-inch diameter column. And uh, we're going to use a design aid, uh, which you can find in most reinforced concrete textbooks, uh, like the White and McGregor textbook. Um, or you can find it in different uh, ACI or PCA uh, design guides. Um, so. The first thing that we need to do is find our gross area uh, for our column uh, of 30 inch diameter. So our area is uh, pi over 4 times 30 inches squared to give us a gross area of 707 square inches. Next, we need our gamma factor. So our gamma factor relates the location of our outside bars uh, to the overall um, dimensions of our column. So we're going to assume that we have two and a half inches from the outside of our column to the centroid of our outermost bar. So for us, our gamma is going to be 30 inches minus 2 times 2 and a half inches divided by 30 inches. So here we'll get a gamma of, uh, sorry, 0 0.83. So we can see that uh, this is between our two available design guides, which are 0.75 and 0.9. Um, so we're going to use the lower gamma, uh, which it will, will uh, equal a smaller lever arm. So choosing a lower gamma here is going to be more conservative. Uh, so we'll use a gamma of 0.75. Uh, we can also uh, look at the diagram for 0.75 and 0.9, and we can find a, a row associated with each of them, and then uh, use a linear interpretation uh, in, interpolation between the two diagrams to find our, our row required. Um, but I, either is appropriate. So we'll use a gamma of, of 0.83 or of a, a gamma of um, 0.75 for our diagram. So now we need to find uh, our two uh, normalized stresses here. So we'll need to find our rho, or sorry, our phi, pn, divided by our a gross. So for us, 680 divided by 707 inches squared. So this will give us a normalized stress here of 0.96 KSI. And then we'll have our phi MN divided by H times A gross. So 6,240 kip inches divided by 30 times 707 Square inches will give us a, a normalized stress here of point, 0 0.029 KSI. So we can bring these two values to our diagram. So 0 0.29 and 0 0.96. 
and come and find our row required. Uh, so we can see that we're below a row of 0.01. Uh, so a row of 0.01 is going to be our, our minimum uh, that we're going to want to use. So for us, we're just going to use a, a row of 0.01. So we can then use this to find the area of steel required. So our area of steel is going to be equal to our row times our gross area. Uh, which will give us a uh, total area of steel required of 7.07 .07 inches squared. And we can provide uh, six um, number 10 bars uh, to get this area of steel. So this would give us um, six times 1.27 uh, is going to equal 7.62 inches squared. Um, so we can see that we were below our row required of um, 0.01. Um, so we can try decreasing uh, the dimensions of our column, the, the diameter of our column, to make our, our section more efficient. Um, so that's what we're going to do in our, our next step here. We'll next try a diameter of 27 inches. Uh, so again, the first thing we need to do is find our gross area. So pi over 4 times 27 inches squared is going to give us a gross area of 573 square inches. Um, so then we can find our gamma. So our gamma is going to be 27 inches minus 2 times 2.5 inches divided by 27 inches is going to give us a gamma of 0.81. Uh, so again, um, we can either use our gamma of 0.75 or we can find um, our row required in both 0.75 and 0.9 and use a, an interpolation between the, uh, the two rows. Uh, so then we can find our, all of our normalized stresses. So first our VPN divided by a gross, so 680 kips divided by 573 inches squared is going to give us a stress here of 1.19 KSI. And then doing the same thing for VMN uh, divided by H a gross, so 6,240 kip inches divided by 27 times 573 is going to give us a normalized stress here of 0.4 KSI. We can bring these two values to our design aid, so 0.4 and 1.19. Right there-ish. Um, and we'll see from here we need a row of between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. Um, we're going to say here that this row here is about equal to 0 0.017. Um, so we could also look at our diagram for a gamma of 0.9. And in that diagram, we'd find a row, our row G required um, would be about 0 0.013. So if we look between these values, um, I'm going to say that we need a row G of about 0 0.016. So that's what we're going to move forward with. So then our AS is our row G 0 0.016 times our gross area. 573 inches squared uh, to give us an AS required of 9.17 square inches. 
Now we can see uh, what different uh, bar combinations um, would give us this, uh, give us about this area. Um, so the two that, that we'll look at here are eight number 10 bars. So eight number 10 bars would give us an AS of eight times 1.27, uh, which would give us an area here of 10.16. We could also try six number 11 bars. 1.56, uh, which would give us an area here of 9.36 square inches. Um, so we can see that our most effective or efficient design would be our six number 11 bars, which is uh, closest to, um, but still greater than our AS required. Um, so this is what we're going to use uh, for our, our design moving forward. Next, we need to find our center to center spacing of the bars. Uh, so for us, this will be 2 pi times the diameter of uh, or the diameter of, of our, our center to center of the bars. Uh, so for us is um, 27 inches minus uh, 2 times 2 and a half inches, the uh, distance from the outside to the center of uh, the outermost bar. And then this times 0.5 to change it to radius, divided by our number of spaces. So for six bars, we have six spaces. Um, so we'll, this will give us a center to center spacing of 11.5 inches. We can then uh, find the clear spacing. So our clear spacing is just going to be our 11.5 inches minus the diameter of one of our number 11 bars, uh, which will give us a clear spacing of about uh, 10.1 um, inches. So we need our, our clear spacing here to be greater than uh, 1.5 uh, times the diameter of our bars, um, and we're okay here. So we're going to move forward with our design with uh, six number 11 bars. So now we need to detail our section. Uh, so circular sections have uh, some additional requirements in ACI. Uh, the first being that the uh, reinforcement ratio for our spirals or our, our volumetric spiral reinforcement ratio uh, needs to satisfy this ACI requirement. Um, so first, we need to find the area of our confined core. Uh, so this is going to be pi over 4 times the uh, diameter of our overall column minus 2 times our cover. And then this squared to give us a confined core area of 452 square inches. We can plug all of our known values now into our uh, ACI expression. So 0.45 times our gross area 573 divided by our confined core area 452 minus 1 times 4 KSI, we're just going to keep them all in the same units here, uh, 60 KSI, and this will give us a value here of 0 0.0080. We can now use the volume of our tie uh, to find um, what our required spacing is. Uh, for our uh, reinforcement ratio. Uh, so our, our volume of our tie is equal to the area uh, that we choose for our spiral uh, times 2 pi r or pi d of our core. And then uh, we can plug that in up top and then divide it by um, the volume um, between e each tie. Uh, so pi over 4 times the diameter of our core squared times our spacing. Uh, so simplifying this, we'll get 4 times the area of our tie um, divided by d times 
s. So for us, uh, we're going to try uh, number four spiral reinforcement. So we have uh, four times 0.2 uh, inches squared, the area of a number four bar, divided by 27 inches minus three inches times our spacing. And we'll set this equal to our required reinforcement ratio to solve for S. And we'll solve for S here. Our center-to-center uh, -center spacing is 4.18 inches. Um, and we need our spacing to be less than or equal to this value. With our spacing uh, needing center to center spacing uh, needing to be less than 4.18 inches, uh, we know our clear spacing uh, needs to be less than uh, 4.18 minus the diameter of our number four bar, uh, so 3.68 inches. And we also know that um, an additional spacing requirement is that our clear spacing needs to be between 1 and 3 inches. So we can see that our 3-inch uh, upper limit is going to control here. So this is what we're going to need to use. So we can then uh, find our center-to-center -center spacing as 3 inches plus 0.5 inches, the uh, diameter of our number four bar, to give us a center to center spacing here of 3.5 inches. Um, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, so we have number four bars, or number four uh, spirals uh, with a, a pitch equal to uh, 3.5 inches. Um, so that will conclude our uh, design of our circular column.